First of all, I want to give you guys all a big hug. Mm. Hi, you 20-something people I talk to on the internet through a camera and which I don't know the names of. I'm sorry. It's been awesome so far. So first of all, I'm going to tell you all my favorites because that was a topic this week. And then if I have time, I'm going to answer to some of your videos. But if not, then the answers are in the boxy down below. Let's better get started. Okay, here are my 33 favorites. Favorite tea. Robust tea with vanilla. Stuff to put on head. Weeha! Garfield. Song. It's called You Might Die Trying by the Dave Matthews Band. I think you, Silling, would really love it. There's a lot of saxophone in the end. Soundtrack. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Color. Blue. And green and brown. Book. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I don't really have a favorite book, but for now I'm just gonna go with that. Cloth. It's that sweatshirt at the moment. It's made of awesome. Movie. Or series. Maybe. Maybe Dead Poet Society. But only maybe. Doctor Who. Doctor House. Stargate. Glee. Right. No, sorry, can't decide. Smell. A forest just after it rained. Poet. I'm just not going to say anything. Word in English. Wobble. Wobble, 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 wobble. Word in another language. In French, it's crayon, which means pencil. And in Polish, it's podejane, which means shady. In German, I just go with buch, and it means book. By the way, Rosalind, your German is adorable. And I really like that band too. Revolverheld, yeah. Moving on. We have a snack. Oreos, Oreos, Oreos! Also, I really like Prince Apollo. They're only available in Poland, unfortunately, but they're so lovely. And Dextro Energy. Chocolate flavored! Dinosaur. Okay, I really can't decide because I have these two gigantic folders and they're filled with dinosaur stuff because I was obsessed with dinosaurs when I was about 10. Okay, for now I'm just going to go with Iguanodon. He was awesome. Look at that. Great moves. Musical. Which was turned into a movie? Rent. Which was performed on stage? Lion King. YouTube channel. They are listed all over the place. Day. Friday. Just because. Bed clothing. Spider-Man. I mean, just look at it. Sports. None. Well, except climbing, but... I don't really know if that's a sports or not. Food. Bananas. Also lemons. And cucumber. And pretzels. Because we in Germany have the real pretzels. I'll show you some good pretzels next time, I promise. Juice. Tomato juice. Hat. Probably this one. Although I adored that one. And that one I got in New York City. So it's awesome too. But I also love that one. I can't decide. Time of the day. Three in the morning. Because there's no one else awake and I feel very calm when I walk the streets alone. Animal. Panthers. Whee! Because they have the same pattern as leopards. When you look at them very closely, you see it, it shines like silvery country. Canada, because they have so much snow and they have woods and everything. And it's so adorable and I want to go there. Also because I feel like it's the only country where English and French people really get along. Computer game. I have to say Assassin's Creed Brotherhood also because Hank plays it. And because I'm obsessed with the soundtrack right now. Quote, be who you are and say what you feel. Because those who mind don't matter. And those who matter don't mind. Candy. These! Candy, candy, candy. They're like bonbons. I love them. And they're actually for kids, but they're so tasty. Mm. Chemical and element. At the moment it's theobramine because I love it and it's in chocolate and it's amazing because you could die of it and it just blows my mind. That's hydrogen because I love it and it's so small and it's so powerful because if you have H2 then you could like destroy a lot. And it has no neutron. It's freaking amazing. Zombies are unicorns. John, I'm just gonna say it. Unicorns. Pirates and ninjas. Gay cowboys. Just joking. Knights, of course. And last but not least, underwear. And yes, I've been to Australia. Woohoo. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to say one thing about the books and movies and uh, music and stuff because uh, that was just a snapshot from my favorites at that moment. Because my favorites depend on the time you ask me. When I find a new thing, I get obsessed with it. And then that's my favorite. Because I want to know all about it. When I have a favorite song or a favorite album, then I listen to it 24-7. Or when I watch a new movie and I really like it, then I watch it over and over and over again until I know all the dialogues and stuff. But when I find something new, then that's my obsession. So it depends and it changes. I also have like levels. So on the top level there are my all-time favorites, but I have a lot of them. Then there are like the movies or the albums that I 
well, that are okay, and that I listen, listen to sometimes, and then there's the rest which I don't care about. But I don't really have one all-time favorite. I have many, and they're all on the same level. Because I, like some of you, think that you can't really compare one movie to another if it if one is comedy and one is drama. Also about music artists or book authors or stuff like that. Um, I don't really care about artists or authors. I don't care about genres. I just pick what I think is interesting. And if you have a look at the shelves in my room, you'll see they're a Motley Crue. So I don't pick artists or authors. I pick songs and books. I really like the playing with the formulas of the reduced plank constant, but my favorite constant is pi. It's kind of... Uh all over the place and pretty much everyone knows pi but still I love I love it. And I know the first ten numbers behind the comma. It's three point one four one five nine two six five three nine. Yes. One four one. It's so hard in English. DFTBA guys. Oh my god I'm such an emo.